Hello, everyone. It's great to have this opportunity to meet you via this uh, video interview with Anna. Uh, my name is Matthew Burton. I've been an MAF trustee for a few years now, but I've recently taken over from Gareth Mitchell as chairman of the Board of Trustees of, of MAF UK. How did you first hear about MAF? Well, that's a really good question, Anna, because I have a very distinct memory about how I first heard about MAF. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I think probably maybe 10 years old, something like that. Um, my mother's parents were missionaries in northern Nigeria in the area that is often in the news now for troubles with Boko Haram and so on. And they were based out in, in that part of northern Nigeria in the 1940s and 1950s. And my grandfather had a terrible accident, which ultimately meant they had to come back to England. But uh, as a result of the accident out in the bush of northern Nigeria, he needed to be picked up by a small plane and flown to a hospital to be treated. And the plane wasn't an MAF plane, but uh, it was somebody operating a sort of similar kind of service. And uh, he was flown uh, in, in the back of a very small plane with a nurse sort of leaning over the seat trying to check he was still still with them uh, and he never obviously forgot that experience and as a result of that it gave him a sort of personal connection to the importance of the work of an organization like MAF which was obviously in its relative infancy at that stage about 10 years old or so uh, and uh, he always held a, a, a strong support for math so as a young child because I was passionate about aeroplanes uh, I remember him telling me about MAF and what a wonderful organisation it was, and when I got old, when I grew up, sorry, I should uh, think about supporting them and showing an interest in them. Little did uh, he know, and it's a shame he's not with us today for me to be able to explain to him where I finished up um, chairing the trustees. How have you been involved with MAF before becoming the chairman? I was invited to join the board of MAF uh, in about four and a half years ago. I had a couple of tryout sessions, as all new trustees do. Of, uh, a, a chance to observe the board and then to observe me but I joined formally uh, about four and a half years ago and during that time I've served on the finance and risk subcommittee because I'm an accountant by trade uh, and so that was a natural subcommittee for me to sit on so served on that and then uh, took over a couple of weeks ago as, as chairman from Gareth Mitchell so about a four and a half year formal connection. What is your day job outside of being an MAF trustee? Um, outside of, of being a MAF trustee, um, I'm married to Ali. We've been married for about 20 years and we've got three wonderful daughters, uh, 19, 17 and 13 years old. Um, and we live uh, in Essex, uh, just uh, outside Epping at the end of the Central Line. If you know the London Central Line map, top right hand corner, we live near Epping. Um, but my day job uh, for the last three and a bit years has been managing partner of a national firm of uh, chartered accountants called Safari Champness. Um, before taking on the role of managing partner, I, I was a client partner looking after after landed estates and, and wealthy families, but to have been managing partner for just over, over three years, which is a, you know, a fairly full on, but uh, very interesting uh, role to have and keeps me certainly keeps me out of trouble. What are your hobbies and do you have a fun fact about yourself to share with us? In terms of hobbies, which feels like at this stage of life, both with the sort of busy day job that I have um, and also now the commitment to being chairman of MAF UK, um, the hobbies time is relatively um, compressed. But um, I have always wanted to be a pilot. That's what I really wanted to do as a career, join the RAF or fly as a commercial pilot, but discovered when doing one of those uh, colour blindness test with all the coloured dots on the page that when the lady said what numbers can you see on the page and I said numbers I can't see any numbers that she looked at my mother with a sort of oh dear he is very colour blind and which put the kibosh on me having a flying career uh, for, for money or for a living as it were so um, I had always held out a candle to go back to it so I uh, obtained my private pilot's license a few years ago so that would be my kind of official hobby. I'm mean, always interested in aviation, which is why a big draw to MAF uh, anyway. But uh, unfortunately, because I'm so busy, um, I have had to put my private pilot's license uh, on the shelf at the moment. And uh, 
perhaps when I finish being managing partner and I give a little bit more time back, I will pick it back up again because I do miss it uh, greatly. But that's my official hobby. I'm also very um, connected to and interested in, in Africa, but particularly Zimbabwe. Uh, I worked out there in my gap year uh, after school um, and built a connection for many years. I was chairman of trustees of a very small charity that operates a feeding program and an orphanage in, in, rural, in a rural part of Zimbabwe and, and the success of that I'm now involved in, uh, which carries on similar work. So I've travelled to Zimbabwe a lot over the years, so that's a, it's not a hobby, but that's a particular interest of mine um, and, and the country and a project that I have a close connection to. Um, you asked me whether there's any fun facts. I suppose one thing that crops to mind is that Ali and I, because her dad was an MP at the time that we got married, were very fortunate M uh, MPs and peers, their children are allowed to get married in the chapel of the Houses of Parliament. So we got married in a sort of, it's, it's a slightly underground, undercroft chapel off Westminster, off the, the uh, hall in, West, in the Palace of Westminster there, which is the area where Guy Fawkes is reputed to have um, stored his gunpowder for the gunpowder plot, but it's now a chapel. So we were married there uh, in 2001. So a little fun fact. Is there anything you'd like us to pray for, for you or for the Board of Trustees? Thank you for asking about um, prayer requests. I think. Uh, in terms of me personally, it would be much appreciated for prayer in terms of uh, wisdom around time management and juggling of priorities, as I mentioned in answer to one of the earlier questions that I do have a very time consuming and pressured day job um, and being able to juggle that and, and also give the right priority to my responsibilities as chairman of MAF UK would be uh, would, would be great. Um, I want to obviously give my absolute best to math and uh, and so yeah, I need daily wisdom in terms of setting priorities and being able to do that. I'm absolutely sure the Lord will provide in that regard. He always seems to have done in, in the years past, but that would be good for continued sort of wisdom and guidance in, the, in that regard and, and prioritisation and time management. In terms of uh, MAF UK's board, um, we've got three new trustees who've just joined us and we've had uh, some retirement, two retirements of Gareth Mitchell, who is chairman of Diana White, who is involved for many, many years as well. So there's a period of change um, and it's exciting times and new faces and fresh ideas and, and thoughts. But I, so I just would ask for prayer that the board will quickly settle as a newly constituted board with, with new members. Um, and again, wisdom, that we'd be given great wisdom about what the Lord wants us to focus on and to prioritise. Uh, and he's blessed MAF so much over so many years. Um, we we have always have reassurance that his hand is on the organisation, but it would be uh, wonderful if, if supporters could pray that we would have unity as a board, that we would have wisdom and that we would hear from the Lord what he would like us to prioritise uh, in, in maths work going forward at this time as we're setting new strategic plans and obviously and also are working in partnership with, with MAF International to achieve uh, you know, our common aims. That would be much appreciated. Mm -hmm.